What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? This is PS Portable R8, and today I'm going to show you guys how to hack selection picks. Um, uh, let me close this down. First things first, you're going to need to download my files that I put in the description. And once you download it, um, yeah, let's get started. This was a test video to see if my mic was working. <laughs> but first off, you're going to extract the files that that you downloaded and it's extracting right here but I already have UMD gen so I, I'm clicking no but you should click yes if you don't have it and wait till it extracts alright it's done now once it's ex extracted you have the texture hack tools and these other stuff here and UMD gen this is my ISO so you could forget about that that don't come with what um, I put in the description but there's a separate link that could give you the ISO if you guys want it and first off we need to find a picture that you wanna hack into the game a selection pick that you wanna add to the menu um, so we're gonna go look for one right now and here guys is my personal Twitter follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook but yeah let's go look for my for we need to find a picture that you first want I'm gonna change who who's whose selection picture I change I'm gonna change the Miz so I'm gonna look for the the Miz Yeah, I'm gonna look for the Miz. I type in PNG after because PNG picks are normally like high quality, and it's like they have the transparent background with it, and that's what you need when you're hacking a pick into SmackDown versus Raw. Oh, this is for the 2011 ISO, but if you have the 2010 ISO and you want to do it to, to um, 2010 and not 2000. 11 is basically the same concept, but th there's different values different offsets and values in um, 2010 then 2011 we'll, we'll get to that later um, What well, looks like a cool pick? Uh, I'm gonna just take this first one right here Save it Wait for it to save. Why does it take us so long? All right, I could close that down. Um, we're gonna go look for the for the picture you just downloaded, or if you already have a picture, that's great. Here it is. I'm gonna drag it to the desktop. Now, now that you have all the um, files, let's get started. So first off, you're gonna um, to add the picture to the main screen. Here is s s s s f a um, slash b and s s f c. Those are um, the two. Um, well, the three files that you have to change in the um, ISO to to get it wait what am I saying right now hold on all right first of all I skipped a step I'm not good at making tutorials this is this is like my first tutorial so so bear with me right now you're gonna drag your Smackdown your Smackdown um, versus World 2011 or my WWE 11 mod or whichever ISO you have 2010 2011 or my WWE 11 mod. You're gonna um, first things first. You need to extract the plist p plist psp dot arc file. Extract selected. Extract it to the desktop. That's good. And you're gonna need to extract um, the menu. The menu dot park file. Wait for it to extract. Alright, after that you could close out the ISO. You won't need to um, do that yet. 
So to do that, you open up the ISO in UMD Gen to to do that. Now, next things next, you need um, a picture editing program. Now, a lot of people use Photoshop, Adobe Photoshop, but I don't. I'm not really good with Photoshop. I might take college classes for that, um, but I have Paint.net. It it works well with me. I, I like using Paint.net. And when you open it up, you could drag the these two picture files that I have with it. You could drag it, and when it say drag and drop, you could open it or whichever um, picture editing program you're you're using. So now that you have it here and all that, um, we're gonna edit. Um, We'll edit, we'll edit the, the other picture first. This picture. This is the main picture that you guys will see when you click um, Expedition, Normal Match, or whatever match you're doing. And like, this is the picture that's going to be on the menu. And this is the picture that's going to be on the um, the, so, the the selection screen when you're picking for the arena, for the arena select screen. Now that we have that picture, this is just a template. Those two pictures that I have right there, those are just templates for um just so you guys would know the correct um, file size, the file um, dimensions and it's I believe um, 128 by 256 so now that we have our transparent picture that we want to add to the screen is the Miz right here, you're gonna go to this tool, the rectangle select and select the, the entire picture and then oops then you press central C on your keyboard to copy it and then you go to the other picture here and then you could click you click central V to paste and then you go to keep canvas size this is important make sure you keep the canvas size now the, the trick to um, making the selection pick come out perfect is that the shoulders are not supposed to be like too close to the edges and you have to stretch out the picture slightly much because sl you have to stretch out the picture a little bit not all that much because the game normally stretches the, the photo out I mean not stretches it it kind of like shrinks the photo a little bit so you'll see what I mean in the game I don't really know how to explain it so I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit more because in the game it is not gonna it's not gonna look like this but instead it's gonna look like this it's gonna come out it's gonna come out better so you, you may you have to stretch it a little bit more and make sure you stretch it just a little bit more here too I don't want to make it too too large and make sure his head is like almost to the top Yeah, that looks that looks good. You could play around with it too if you want. Make sure I stretch it out a little bit. Don't want to make it too long. All right, that should be perfect. Now you go to file, save. All of the tag, you just leave all that stuff. Just save it. All right, and that's that. You can use that for SS, SS, F, A, and B. Instead of editing a whole new picture for SS, F, A, um, I use the same picture and the same values for SS, F, B. So, yeah. And now you're going to want to edit this picture too. This is SS, F, C. That's the um, one that's... That that one in particular, this picture is for the um like WWE Universe Select, like those small little mini pictures that you see, like when they're going to Story Designer and all that stuff. I normally don't edit these pictures because it freezes in Story Designer, but people like XX Hardy got it to work. So I, I don't know how he did it, but um yeah, you're gonna do the same thing. Keep canvas size and you're gonna shrink it. Let me zoom out. make this picture a little smaller I don't want all that in the picture so I'm gonna stretch it out a little bit and yeah that should be good yeah 
just like that and then you could do the same thing file save and save it again now I'm not gonna put this picture into the game because as I said it freezes story designer and I use story designer when you're gonna choose him so I don't I don't do that but just in case you guys wanted to know how to do that I'll just show you guys so yeah we have our picture so we could exit this this thing now so this is a picture right here now you could um just remember the template that I showed you guys earlier the dimensions for the um file and now that all that stuff is over and we edited the picture and we have everything right right now we have everything good um the next step is converting it to that GIM format and right here um, I'm gonna delete this cuz I don't need it cuz as I said I'm not adding it to the game cuz it freezes story designer so I'm not gonna use it and we're gonna wanna convert that so we open up the texture hack tools and in this one I I, I included X Packer that's for um, editing textures for the games and stuff like that um, edit like character textures and stuff like that I'm not sure if I have the rights to re-upload it or re-upload the file so um, credit goes to the person that created the um, texture hack tool I forgot the name but um, let me open it up um, see if I can find the name uh, I don't think I don't think he put his name in it no but yeah credit goes to whoever made that um yeah and you're gonna wanna use Jim Cove to to convert it so you just drag your picture right here. You can name it whatever you want, but I just named it that to so I can know what I'm doing. You drag it to here and that thing is gonna pop up and it's gonna convert it right here. GIM file. The properties. Yeah, that's it. Now that you did that, you you don't need this. Yeah, you don't need this. So you can minimize or exit out. Doesn't matter. You can open it up in like a. You're gonna need the next thing that you're gonna need is a, um a hex editor. Yeah, that's the name of it. <laughs> and once you get the hex editor or whatever, um you open up the gem file in it and you see it right here mig.00.1 psp those are the gem files that's used for like textures and a whole bunch of other stuff it could, it could open up using xpacker and you could scroll all the way down to the um to the bottom and you see the picture right here um i mean you don't see the picture right there but you see you could just highlight highlight a little bit of it and then you want to go to um, to block and select the block and make sure the start offset is at zero. Click um, OK and then it highlights the whole thing. Instead of highlighting the whole thing by myself, which takes forever because it's a large file, I just do that to make things shorter. So you copy it, right click, copy, right click, copy. And now this is the most important step, adding the file to, to the game yourself. Um, all these links and stuff is going to be in the description. Um, so yeah. Here's the two files that that you're going to need to add it to the um, game and add it to the selection screen. You drag those two to the hex editor, whichever hex editor you have. And the menu file. You're going to go to the last offset to add it to the game. So you're going to drag this all the way to the end. Now that you're all the way at the end, you have to add it to a valid offset. And the valid offsets are, um, you look right there and you have to see if it ends with 800 or 300. Zero, 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 zero. Once it ends with that, then it's good. It comes after um, 800 and 000, zero, zero normally comes after something, normally comes after an offset with um, FO after it. Once you see that, once they have FO at the end, then you could easily add um, 
a picture or add a file to the end of it. Um, so this is the menu. So you already copied this, the um, picture that you edited, the gym, the GIM format. And now you're going to paste it here at the end of the, um, the menu file. So you, cl you right click and then you click paste insert. That's, more, that's very important. Make sure you, you click paste insert and not paste right. So now you inserted it into the game right and just to be sure I'm gonna scroll up um, this file is probably large so um, the name of it is you could search to make things easier to make things easier for me I'm gonna just search um, GIM it can't find it and then I press shift and F3 to go back to the last um gym file. Wait, hold up. Why isn't it going? Wait, what? Oops, I clicked the wrong thing. Sorry. That's the wrong thing. Sorry, I'm kinda sketchy on this right now. I'm not not really good at making tuts and the kids are screaming in the background, my little siblings. M I G. That's what you're supposed to search, M-I-G. So you can make sure you have it at the right offset. M-I-G, not G-I-M. And you go down. And this is the last one, which we just pasted. Everything in red, that's highlighted in red, that's what we just pasted and added into the file. So that's it. See, it's at the offset 800. So it's at a valid offset. It's good. And... So that's it for the menu.poc file. We don't need to mess with that anymore. But just to be sure, just in case you want to add another picture, because I know you guys might probably want to add another picture, you add um, you add bytes to make sure you add a valid offset, like right here, like that. I'm going to add insert bytes, probably 90. Let me see how that comes out. I'm going to highlight these bytes, these blank bytes that I added. And just paste them. I'm gonna keep pasting them until I get to to a valid offset. Can those kids shut up? And then right here, this is a valid offset. So um, it's right here, three zeros right here at the end. So you could just delete the little bytes that they have there, and it's at F F O F O. As long as that's the last part right here. Then you can easily just um, paste, paste, insert, and then add another, um, you know, picture right here at the end. Make sure you click at the end and you add the picture. So now that we're done with the menu that pack file, you know, wait before we save it. I'm gonna go back to the um, to the offset that we have right here, right? Just so you guys don't get confused. This is the highlighted ones right here. Now you need to write down this offset somewhere, right here, that offset. That offset is very important because you're gonna need. This is the final step to add in the um <laughs> to add in the file to the game, the picture to the game. Now, you go to the plist psp.arc and you search ssfa and you see this stuff pop up here. You're gonna click um F3 to search again. And you go down right here. You see, it has um, these are all the um character files. It's like adding Titantrons. Like when you add Titantrons, these are all the um character numbers right here. Like I've already, I could I already know some of them, not all of them, but these are some of the character files that's in the game itself. So um, we want to change the Miz, so we're gonna have to find out which number he is. So to do that, you could just close that and. The other file that I included in the download list is the SVR 2011 list. You click it, open it, and then you go down and look for your um, the person picture that you're replacing um, number. So I'm looking for the Miz. So scroll down. I think I passed him. Where is he? Here he is. It's 218. So the Miz is 218. So I'm going to go back to my hex editor. 
and go find 218. 218, 218, 218. Here it is right here. So these four, um, this right here, the, the values in front of it is what you're going to need to change. And the question is, how do you change those values, right? Well, to change them, you click right here. Make sure you click right here. That's that's most important right here. You're editing here now. You're not editing here. You click right there. And now to um, figure out the values, you're going to close this down. You're going to open a hex calculator. 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 And I'm going to include that in the, um, the description for you guys to go on easily. And... Make sure you click AC so it's clear. And the values that that's for the um, menu.poc file, you have to find it right here, which is 35db800. I'm going to write that down right now. 35db800. And I'm going to go back to the um, plsp.arc and go back down to here and I'm gonna go to the hex calculator now now getting these values right is the most important things you just find which, whichever value in the um, menu.poc file it is which offset you pasted at so I'm gonna type it in right here 35d b 800 for every value that you have and you want to change it the first two um offsets or not offsets values you divide it by 800 and then you minus 8 and those are the values right there now the thing about it is you you have to paste the values the um the values the game reads it right to left i believe not left to right so instead of putting it like this First things first, you gotta put AF first. You put AF, then SB. That's that's very important. You can't put SB, um, 6B, my fault. 6B, AF. You have to put AF, 6B. So let's do that right now. Go back to the hex calculator. I mean the hex um, editor. And you type it in. Not here. Make sure you do that right. Not here. You go here. And then you click AF. You type it in AF. 6b now that's that's one thing now for the last and final um part you need to figure out the file size for the um for the next two you need to figure out the file size to to the um the file that you're putting so i'm gonna close this i'm gonna go look for the file this is here the gym file you right click you open up properties and the size right here the size that's the most important thing right now the size um it's 130 31,200. So you write that down too. And now you go back to the, he the hex calculator and you type it in. 131,200 divided by 100 plus 1. And that gives you that. 13 13 it doesn't matter which way you type it in because it's still the same numbers so you just type it in after this 13 13 and there you go that's your selection pick that you that you um added you add, i just changed the miss selection pick for um oh i changed it for ss ssfa now i'm gonna just copy it from zero right here i'm gonna copy these offsets I mean, I keep saying offsets the values, copy, and then I'm going down to SSFB right here, right? And now you just look for the same number, 218. I'm going to look for that right here. I'm going to just copy right over it and paste insert, and there you go. That's it. Your selection pick is now in the game. I'm going to go right here, save. And then go to the menu.poc file, make sure it's save. And that's it. You could close down the hex editor. You could close all that stuff down, doesn't matter. And now, once that stuff is closed down, 
you have your files here that you just edited and now time to put them back in the game so you open up the ISO whichever ISO you're using and then you're gonna um, delete this and add the one you edited right there then you go replace the other one menu right there then you save it well no you don't save it yet you export it and for the export you just type in anything I just type in anything click enter then you go to file back to import and then you import what you exported and then make sure you click the yes for this one and then save as uncompressed ISO save it to WWE 11 hello you YouTube smiley face matter of fact no no smiley face <laughs> and just save it just like that and that's it guys the selection pick has been hacked after you did all of that you can finally go to the game and see a new selection pick let's see uh where's the miss should be right here and there you go that's it perfect right So ladies and gentlemen, that is how you hack selection picks. Comment, rate, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Because this video took a long time to make. And that's actually how long it takes to actually add a selection pick. Now imagine doing a whole entire WWE 11, WWE 12. Imagine doing your own mod. You have to do this for like every picture you add. See how much pictures I added. Like that's how long and that's how much work. That shows how much work I put into um, doing these kind of stuff for you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate it. I hope you guys uh, appreciate this 30 minute video <laughs> showing you guys how to hack selection picks. More tutorials coming soon. So yeah, talk to you guys later. Peace out.